Good day, campers. For today's project, I'm going to re be replacing what I believe is a terrible design battery disconnect switch. It's located here in my pass-through storage, and it is very, very easy to bump and to shut off. The one I've purchased to replacement to replace it is not going to be easy to bump. It's uh, closer to the, to the wall and not something that can bump easily. There is a link to this switch uh, in the description of this video. The, this particular switch comes with three different mounting methods. There's actually a way to completely enclose the back. So if you're in a situation that you need to protect uh, those exposed 12 volt battery li lines, you can do that. My particular application, this old switch does not have uh, any kind of protection and it's in a place where it really doesn't need it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this switch off to reduce arcing and sparking when I disconnect the back. I disconnected the wires, push them in places where they cannot touch anything. Next thing I'll do is remove the old switch. New switch is mounted. I used four, uh, the four screws that the original switch used. This also comes in the kit with four little short screws for this style of mounting. Wires are reconnected. This particular switch that I bought has a built-in voltmeter. Don't really need it, but it's kind of handy because it's a visual clue that the battery disconnect is in the on position because this meter displays voltage when the disconnect is on, does not display voltage when the disconnect is off. In order to make that meter work, you need to connect a ground wire to this lug. I have connected to my shunt. You can connect to any place that's a solid negative a ground anywhere in your system. The thing is connected. Let's turn on the battery disconnect switch. Switch is now installed. A couple of uh, um, notes here. First one is when you install the switch, make sure that the on position is up. Otherwise, your voltmeter will not be right side up. The second thing is, is that the way I read the directions, the meter does not display when the switch is in the off position. It does display when it's in the off position, just shows a lower voltage. So now we're installed, all is well. Pay close attention in the back when you hook up the two 12 volt wires in my particular installation, uh, one of those 12 volt wires goes over the top of the negative connection for the voltmeter. So I made sure that I kind of bent that wire up a little bit so that the lug does not make contact with the uh, negative connection for the meter. Pretty much a straight swap from one to the other. My hole was the same size. The only difference was the mounting holes for the meter in a little bit different place. As always, thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.